Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Mental House family with me, your host, Khadija. I don't know why I got this um, uh, time uh, scoreboard up here. Well, I guess it's just for me to say that time is running out, y'all. Um, I want to know how many of us can see the signs of the times. How many of us are taking this stuff serious or, you know, just think it's a joke and things are going to remain the same um, and that these people are not doing a turn up on us? Hmm. If you have any questions and if you're not sure about it, let me read this article. Uh, because the Ohio School Board president is going to resign because she refused to vote against an anti-racism resolution. Y'all see all this forceful stuff that's coming down the pipe? Um, it, it, that it's an agenda? Just like the other mandates? These are agendas. The president of the Ohio School Board says she plans to resign Friday after the Senate resisted her reappointment amid the political battle over an anti-racism resolution that she supports. I hope you listen at this, the mad hat, uh, mad, uh, hat doctor. Lauren Kohler, who was in her, serving her fifth year with the State Board of Education in Ohio, told NBC News that she intended to offer her resignation to Governor White DeWine, Mike DeWine on Friday morning. She said the decision came after the state Senate made it clear that she would not even be reappointed. So this is where it's coming from. Okay? In October, there was a resolution that was brought forth to rescind what has become known as Resolution 20. I voted not to rescind, and I believe that the fact that I was not going to be, conf that is the fact that I was not going to be confirmed by the Senate is a result of that vote. Last year, Kohler helped write an anti-racism and equality resolution in the wake of George Floyd's murder in May 2020. The resolution passed last year, affirming the state's commitment to excellence in education for all and condemning racism, the Columbus Dispatch reported at the time. The Ohio Senate did confirm the reappointments of three school board members who voted to repeal the resolution, the Columbus Dispatch reported. So you check that out. She... Huh. She helped write it. The resolution was passed. But the people that disagreed with it were rehired. Whereas she had to resign because she knew she wasn't going to be reappointed because of her, her stinking thinking. Kohler said that although DeWine asked her to resign, she did not come to the decision lightly. I made it in the interest of the State Board of Education to avoid becoming a distraction when the work of the board, the work that the board does is more important than it ever was before. And I hope to make it clear to the folks that I have tremendous respect and regard for the governor. He's done a tremendous job in trying to deal with the different opinions of everyone in the state. Um, Kohler, a Republican like DeWine, said it was an honor to have been appointed, but heartbreaking that the schools have become embattled by politics. And this is a Republican, okay, that is for anti-racism bills. As a representative from DeWine's office declined to comment on Thursday, saying he hadn't received her formal resignation, so he can't speak on it one way or the other. It's not political in the sense of versus Democrat versus Republican. 
it's more of a sense that I think conservative Republicans not being happy with me as a moderate. School and school boards across the country have become political battlegrounds as conservative groups take issue with diversity and equality initiatives. This is nothing but the Koch brothers. All over the country, they're pouring money into this kind of stuff, y'all. This is what the Koch brothers are doing. This is all a hustle. It's a game. I'm just sick of playing the damn game with America. I mean, I really am. And, and, and the people that don't read between the lines is because they don't want to. They got a um, major news formats and, and um, uh, uh, platforms that do nothing, nothing but continue the arm of white supremacy for America, continues to be the propaganda arm for white America, for right, racist, white supremacy. Um, and really, it's beginning to be like, those of y'all who have eyes, let them see. And those who have ears, let them hear. You better start making your plans. Again, schools and school boards across the country all of a sudden now. Nobody was interested in school board. Now all of a sudden. That's hot issues. Critical race theory is not typically taught in grade school. And is pursued as a course study at college level. Lawmakers in at least 22 states have proposed limits on how schools can talk about racial issues according to NBC. Educators have reported being driven out of their jobs, frustrated and exhausted by these continuous fights. And this is what This is what we have to really be mindful of. Um, you have le election commissioners and inspectors quitting all over the country because of propaganda, because of now everybody's questioning of the legitimacy of the election and the integrity of it. So now you got this going on all across the country. The Koch brothers are behind this crap. This is bullshit. That is finance funnel. And a lot of y'all are being just sheep being led to slaughter. I don't know. What y'all think? Maybe I'm wrong. What you think, Mad Hat Doctor? Uh... What you think about this one? I'm really curious. All right. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to see you in the next video.